Hey guys, show for one up reviews, and today we're a secret review and unboxing of the Hoka Kaha 2 Gore Tex. Before we get into this review, guys, if you're new to our channel, remember to hit that subscribe button, hit that notifications bell so you never miss any of our latest reviews. Slap that thumbs up, it helps us greatly. Drop some love in the comment section below. We try our best to reply to every single comment that's thrown our way. I just want to take the time and opportunity to thank the subscribers, old and new. Without you guys, we can't do this, so thank you, and let's go. So today we've got a look at the Hoka Car 2 Low, the Gore-Tex versions. Uh, we got this in the UK size 8. Oh, uh, forgive me, it's not UK 8, it's a US size 8. It's a European 41 and a third, and it's a UK 7 and a half. And we've got a look at these hiking sneakers. Hoka are kind of known for their casual, I said running sneakers. They're very well on brand very popular at the minute uh, right now I'm seeing a lot of people wearing hokers and really they're really cool because we've done some reviews of the One One so check those out uh, big fan of hokers and if you're looking for something that isn't the big brands from Nike or Adi hokers the one to look out for in my opinion and we'll show you another reason why here they are the Kaha 2 this is hokers hiking or trail running sneaker. Can be used for either activity. Uh, and it's all kitted out for use, trail running or hiking. So we'll start with the outsole. So this outsole is an all a rubber outsole. You've got that Vibrim Mega Grip and you know what Vibrim, they are used in a lot of hiking shoes. Again, we've done tons of reviews with our sneakers that have bib rim. You've got your Gore-Tex as well. Um, we've done tons of reviews on sneakers with bib rim. I can't single any out. Well, Timberland ones, you'd have to look at our back catalog. Right now, in some of my head, I can't remember for the life of me. I'm so sorry. But do check out our hiking sneakers because a lot of them, they use bib rim technology and they should because as the name suggests, this has the mega grip for your trail runs and you know you're going to be walking on a lot of slippery surfaces you don't want to be slipping so this traction patterning here has got you covered and i mean if you look at it on the lettering there it says traction lock you know and mega grip this is going to keep you on your feet you're not going to fall Moving on onto the midsole unit. So this midsole unit is a dual density CMEVA from Hoka. And what that entails is it's just a foam um, midsole, but then you look at the patterning, or not the patterning, the shape of it has kind of got the normal Hoka shape, kind of like a rocker, bit thick, can uh, make you lift your feet quicker from the ground and it's more cushioned as well. And you also got the mellow heel as well. Right there, it's part of the shape. And you can only find that in Hoka products. The upper is where we see all of that Gore-Tex goodness. So this is finished with the Gore-Tex uh, materials, the Gore-Tex sheen. But the overall materials itself is your new buck levers. You can feel it all around. It's pretty much treated with the Gore-Tex love and approval. So this is going to be water resistant. It's not waterproof. Let's uh, put it out there. So if anyone's watching this, this is water resistant. It's not waterproof. So what it's going to do, it's not going to uh, damage your shoes, but it might get into your feet. So that's the difference. Waterproof usually tends to protect water from getting into your feet, whereas being water resistant, protects your damaging your sneaker essentially that makes any sense I hope that helps so you look at the, the lacing system you've got rope laces very nicely padded tongue you've got a hulker logo also the lateral and medial size pretty much the same the new buck uppers right there and the heel you can see the Gore-Tex seal of approval right there the heel you got the lip so you can easily you know slip your feet in if you need any more help you've got a pull tab and then the insole you've got a nice padded insole with the hoka 
logo and Carhartt 2 also. So that rounds up my review on these Hulk and Carhartt 2s. Really excited to try these on. So what for that footage of me trying these on for you. When it comes to the fit, guys, I recommend that you get your true to size Hoka fit. I'm UK size seven and a half when it comes to sneakers like um, Nike. So when it comes to um, UK sizing, I usually tend to go with that. And these fit perfectly. They're a bit snug. So if you are kind of worried about it, you know, constricting your feet, maybe go a half size up. But when it comes to like hiking shoes, I kind of want them tight because you know um, I don't want to slip and fall I was to ever do some hikes or trail running very comfortable as well guys I can feel the attraction on proper grippy and it's quite heavy as well but that's what you need when it comes to these kind of sneakers and for those wondering what uh, trousers I'm wearing I'm wearing a pair of Uniqlo's cargo parachute joggers i don't think they're available at the minute but if you're able to find them on the uniqlo website with the shops then well done to you Thanks guys for watching, remember to like, comment and subscribe. This is not a uh, Uniqlo ad by the way, just happy to like their clothes. But if anyone from Uniqlo is watching and we know that you are, throw some gums your boys way. Follow us on TikTok, follow us on Instagram. Till next time guys, peace.